Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install SQL Alchemy in Windows 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to open command prompt and here first we're going to check the Python version installed. So simply type in Python then double dash then version. Okay, if you get any version number that means Python is installed and it is in your system path. Now let's check official SQL Alchemy page you will find something like this okay now to install SQL Alchemy what we're going to do is we are simply going to type in pip install SQL Alchemy hit enter and that should start the installation okay now let the installation finish okay here you can see SQL Alchemy is now installed now what we're going to do is we are going to simply check whether we have SQL Alchemy running with Python. So for that we are going to type in Python. Let this start the prompt. Then I'm going to import SQL Alchemy. Okay. Next line would be to try out SQL Alchemy dot and then double underscore virgin double underscore then enter and that should show you the virgin that we just installed okay so let's take a look at how you can connect to database using python sql alchemy module okay so what we're going to do is we're going to open a command prompt or you can also use powershell to install sql alchemy and then we will connect to this module with our SQL database or you can even choose MySQL or Postgres database. Okay, for the sake of simplicity, we can use SQL database. Okay, so I have opened PowerShell. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, first is to install SQL Alchemy module and second we will connect to database so first thing to do would be type in pip install sql alchemy okay once you install this module next will be writing the code that connects with let's say sqlite database okay now let's open visual studio code and let's create a new file now here let me save this file with some name such as okay so where is the python okay here it is let's name this sample.py okay now here what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to type in from sql alchemy import create underscore engine okay then save this then create variable name it engine type in create engine and add sqlite then colon then three times forward slash and let's name this sample db okay because it is already there as well so i don't even have to worry about searching those file or creating it then equal to okay now to check what our engine is connecting to let's use print statement okay and use engine variable now if i go to our shell and here if i type in python then sample.py that should show us the connected database which is basically our sample or db okay so you get the idea how to basically uh, use sql alchemy to use create engine class to connect to our sql i database so let's take a look at how you can connect to sql i database with python's sql alchemy module and we will also see how to create table with it okay so the first thing that we are going to do is make sure that you have 
SQL Alchemy install type in pip install SQL Alchemy okay now make sure that you have Python also installed otherwise this command won't work okay next thing would be to open our Visual Studio code create one file name it anything you want something like sample.py okay so first thing would be typing in from SQL Alchemy import create engine then metadata then table column then let's use integer and finally string okay now next thing would be to use our create engine class so that we can connect to our SQLite okay so here let me show you SQLite then colon then three times forward slash and let's name this work.tv then use echo and then set it to true okay now next thing would be to simply create a meta variable that calls for metadata okay now after that what we're going to do is we're going to create table named workers okay so workers equals to table method that will basically first define our table name which is workers and then we will use meta then we will add our column and inside column we will create first column as id which is going to be integer and it's going to be primary key okay equals to true then we will use another column and here let me close this one okay now in second column let's add something like name okay and we will set this as string okay now comma again and let this close okay then we will use meta dot create underscore all and then pass engine to it okay now let's open powershell go to the prompt where we have this file and type in python and sample.py okay sorry so here we made a mistake we have to put in both uppercase because we defined uppercase here so yeah so type in python sample.py okay now if you get message something like this okay and it shows you that engine has committed this that means your table is created named workers in your sqlite database work.db so let's take a look at how you can insert data or content into your sqlite database table with sql alchemy in python so first thing make sure to open command prompt or powershell type in pip install sql alchemy Okay. make sure th that you have this module installed next uh, if you have followed my previous tutorial on how to create the database and how to create table then so far as you can see we are landing up with this code here only one change needs to be made which is meta.createAll remove this line and then use let's say INS as 
insert variable then we add workers dot insert okay now this is a query that allows us to add some sort of value so let's add insert workers dot insert dot values and inside we will add let's say name equals to uh, here we can add our name okay and then what we're going to do is create connection object then call for engine dot connect okay once you connect to your database you can add this value to that table with result variable that basically calls for connection object and execute and we use insert variable okay once you do that you are free to insert data into that table okay so let's open powershell move to that drive then type in python sample.py here you can see your content is now committed okay if you have something like let's say db browser for sqlite you can see these changes added so we will open that meanwhile you can pause and go through the code now here you see you can open the database let's go with the path which is a drive then work if you open the database and browse the data here you can see one entry has been added so far okay so as you can see that insert works with sql alchemy module you can close the database okay now you get the idea how to insert data into your sqlite table with python sql alchemy okay so let's continue from where we last left where we basically selected a bunch of rows from our sqlite database table now what we're going to do is we are going to update one of the entry in that program okay so what we're going to do is we're going to open powershell okay let's move to the prompt where we have our file stored next would be open our video studio code okay here i already have a program that connects to our sqlite database named work.db okay as you can see it has workers table with id and name as two columns with around four to five entries that i have added so Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we use connection object and then call for engine dot connect. Okay, now after that, what we're gonna see is we're going to use statement, and that statement basically is about updating our workers table. Okay, and then we are going to use where so where exactly the change needs to be made is in workers dot c dot name so here our value is this okay now outside this i want values as name equals to this okay now after that what we're going to do is we are simply going to update okay so once this is updated next would be to use our workers variable so wk then workers dot select and then we want to print everything and inside that we are basically going to call for connection object dot execute and then our workers variable then we use fetch all so that it can output all the rows and changes okay so what we have done so far let's try and execute that okay so in my powershell i'm going to type in python sample.py 
Okay, so name update is now. Now, as you can see here, I have added SQL expression import update. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute again. Thing to do would be to also use connection dot execute here we have to also pass our statement okay now let's go ahead and edit and as you can see my fifth entry is now amended because I have not added this connection execute statement that I just added so you get the idea how to update entry from your SQLite table with Python SQL Alchemy okay so what we're gonna do here is so uh, we're going to first check uh, SQL Alchemy's result set okay and we will see how many rows of content it contains and we will print that out on console so first thing would be to open your command from PowerShell and then type in pip install sql alchemy if you haven't, haven't yet installed next thing would be to basically open our previous program okay so here you see i have um, connected to work.tp database and i have table where i have id and name column and we have access this data we're going to create one more variable this name is wk for workers and then call for our table workers dot select okay now this will allow us to select the table then we will connect to this using engine dot connect okay next thing would be to use result variable that will use con dot execute and here we will pass our workers variable okay so you get the idea how to basically get the result set now we use for row in result set and then print row so we print one row at a time okay so you get the idea how to basically create that variable workers and select this table then with engine variable connecting to this database and table and then executing the query to select this table and output stored in result variable then we use for loop to get one row at a time so currently it only has one row so that will be printed so move to the directory where this file exists so this is our sample.py okay you can basically pause and go through the code you can write this on your own and then run the query that i'm running so if you are seeing all of these tutorials in a row then you will be able to get the idea where exactly i'm going with first creating table then inserting data then selecting that data so open command prompt then type in python sample.py okay here you see there is only one row so it shows that id and name okay more than one would be definitely better because you get the idea you get to see multiple rows and you can confirm to uh, selecting all the table here so you can manually open database like let's say db browser for sqlite and add multiple entries so this was small demonstration on how you can select and display the content from the table using python sql alchemy Okay, so let's take a look at how you can use delete query to get rid of a particular row in your SQLite database using Python SQL Alchemy. So I currently I have one program already written so that you can connect to this database. 
okay so this is skeleton code that i have been using for connecting to database also inserting updating data this is the minimal code that you can pause go through it and also edit if you want to okay so next thing would be to show you exactly where we need to update okay so what we're going to do is we are going to basically use import and also delete in our imp from sql alchemy sql expression import update and delete okay. next thing would be to use connection then call for engine connect then next would be creating statement where we use workers dot update or you can also simply use uh, delete method but i would just give you this rough idea with workers dot delete and here uh, we have to specify dot where so workers dot c dot name equals to let's say entry name Jignesh. okay then we use connection dot execute and then pass in statement okay after that we will call for workers dot select okay now next thing would be to use connection dot execute okay then pass our workers tables select statement then fetch all entries that come in so you can put this into print method as well okay so hopefully i hope that this importing delete should work okay so if there is an issue we can go ahead and make changes see those errors and we can learn from that okay now let me move to the drive where i have that sample.file okay, so i thought sample.py okay and here you see one entry is removed which is fifth entry with named chignesh okay so you get the idea how to use delete query with python sql alchemy module for your sqlite database okay so let's take a look at how you can execute sql queries with python sql alchemy module so what we're going to do is we have opened our command prompt and we also have our video studio code where i have created one sample.py now here i'm going to use sql alchemy so if you have not installed simply type in pip install sql alchemy okay make sure to install and after installation you can execute the code explained here so first thing from sql alchemy import create underscore engine and also we need metadata Okay, these two things we need at the minimum. Okay, and after that, what we're going to do is we're going to use engine equals to create underscore engine. And here I'm going to use let's see SQLite, then colon, then three forward slash, and then work dot tv, and then also echo sets to true okay after that we will use meta equals to meta okay now we also need to import one more thing called text so from sql alchemy import text okay now come back to our text query which is going to be our typical sql query okay so tq for text query and let's call text method that can run this so select star from let's see our table is workers and here let me use connection equals to engine dot connect so that will connect to our work.db database then i want result to be executed from tq query 
so connection dot execute and here I'm passing TQ and then fetch all the rows available okay and then I'm gonna print this result okay so open command prompt go to the directory or drive where you have this file then type in python then sample.py and as you can see here at the bottom of this message you will see list of the available rows that contains two of my columns okay and i have total four rows like this so you get the idea how to use a sql query in sql alchemy module of python